the second drill and probably the last one I want to talk to you about right now, okay, is called four cones. Super simple drill. A lot of people are used to doing the old Oklahoma drill, banging all the time. Okay, so what I want to do is I want these, these are all five yards apart. Okay, four cones, five yards apart. Okay, in this offense, here's you don't have to take a guy 20 yards downfield to be successful. If I can get you out of your gap and push and deliver you to the opposite sideline to their head coach, I win. If you want to slant, take that away, good. I'll give it to the other guy and I'll keep going. That's the beauty of the zone concept. Okay. Now, I want the defender sitting here. Okay, these are gonna be two off of the line in the end though. Okay, I want your O-lineman sitting here. You're slightly off center, so I put the defender right in the middle and I put the O-lineman right off. Okay, and what I do is I have the, the defender or the opposite O-lineman start with his hands dead in that lineman's chest. Okay, I want the offensive lineman to be high hip with his hands out wide, worst case scenario. A lot of coaches always fitting it up, best case scenario. Here's a sled, it ain't moving, hit it. Okay, that's, that doesn't work in my world. Okay, and, and when you progress on, no one stands there and lets you hit the chest. Okay, so I want to start with them high hat. Just you, it's the third quarter. You got a freshman, you know, playing next to a senior. The senior starts getting tired. You're winning the game 50 to zero. Okay, he's gonna sit there. He's kind of gonna collect it. And he might just bear hug the guy, try to barrel hook him down, you know, and you get a holding call. It's stupid stuff. Okay, or you got a young sophomore that tries really hard. Okay, but doesn't know how to really refit his hips yet. So you start with him clamped outside, the defender's got his hands right in my chest. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to stand up in that bear stance, worst case scenario again. Okay, and when I blow the whistle, okay, I want you to sink your hips and fit it one hand after the next hand inside, not two at a time. Okay, it's one by one, sinking your hips down, driving your feet through. Now what you tell, what you tell the alignment, okay, is, you win if you take the defender any of these routes on either side. The only place you lose is that direction. You guys, I hope everyone kind of follows that, okay? So, a lot of people might be saying, well, this seems very simple. Yeah, it's a non-contact Oklahoma drill that, tra that trains tired offensive linemen how to refit hips and use leverage to win blocks, okay? So it's very effective. Okay, it's simple. A lot of people might think to themselves, why didn't I think of that? Well, it's, it's a very simple drill that can be highly effective even in college. Okay, now with that defender, make sure he's not just sitting there kind of with his buddy, just, you know, oh, you're good, you're good, calm down. He should be fighting just like a dog, just like this guy should be fighting. Okay, and again, what I usually do is I'll have multiple stations going, okay, and I want to give these guys rest. I don't want to. I don't want to kill them off here. Okay, but these are all separate lines, and they're all very similar, very close to each other. I might have a tight end, okay, going here. Might have an interior line going here, and a tackle line going here. Okay, and again, we'll go one at a time. Give these guys rest. I also want everyone in this area to see winners and losers. Okay, this, this isn't. This isn't like a hey, you did a great job. Pound the back drill. I want this tight end and this tight end. I want this the senior, I want that the freshman. I want that the senior, I want that the freshman. Okay, the same thing goes on. I want everyone to watch what's happening in these drills. Okay, again, emphasis on winning, getting him out of those four cones. And to be honest with you, I don't really stop the drill until he got out of the four cones. If there's gonna be an injury and they're literally just not moving or laying on each other, then again, okay, I'll probably stop that drill. Okay, but I'm gonna make sure they get out of that four cones. Okay, you can call whatever you want. It looks like a bunch of fireworks, okay? It's the same concept. It's a very, very simple concept that's highly effective that can take the place of Oklahoma drills and you lose, everything I'm trying to do is lose contract, lose contact. I don't want injuries in endo, okay? That's the number one no at any level, okay? Especially from high school on, because some of these kids don't know how to play yet, okay? So I want to eliminate the Oklahoma drill. I want to bring in functional, uh, movement and then I also want to add in the worst case scenario drills where most kids find themselves and don't know how to get back out of them okay so I hope this was very you know functional basic stuff I'm telling you right now this isn't just filler stuff where it's like yeah I'll give you my two worst endo drills I'm telling you right now this is not an everyday drill for us but it is a mentality drill and it's something that I do all the time okay I hope you enjoyed this video clinic Please subscribe to InstaClinic so that you stay connected to this one-of-a-kind football resource.